So everyone's heard of Mississippi pot roast where you throw a chuck roast in a crock pot or slow cooker with gravy mix, ranch seasonings, and pickled peppers. I wanted to make a Texas pot roast. So chuck roast, fajita seasoning, then I smoked it on a Traeger pellet smoker. I'll show you how to make it in an oven as well. And then we threw it into a Dutch oven or a grill pan with some sliced onion, kept it with the ranch, and some diced pickled jalapeno. It's delicious. Fall apart tender like you'd expect from pot roast or Mississippi pot roast. Still super easy and it gives it a Tex-Mex spin that's perfect for tacos, nachos, quesadillas all week long. The stuff is ridiculously good. I've already had a taco or two. I'll just show you how juicy these things are. Okay, let's take a look at how to make this. We'll use a three pound chuck roast. Look for something with a lot of marbling. You may even want to get a prime or a Wagyu chuck roast. It's a little overkill for this, but I mean the more fat, the better. Then we'll season this all over with beef fajita seasoning. I'm using one from HEB. It has about 200 milligrams per quarter teaspoon, and I'm using a tablespoon per pound of beef if you're using a different size roast. I smoked this on a Traeger grill at 200 degrees for about two hours, and then we'll pull it off. I mentioned in the intro, I'll show you how to make it in an oven. I meant a slow cooker. Don't make it in the oven. Make it in a Traeger or just throw everything in a slow cooker. For the remaining ingredients, you'll need a thinly sliced onion. Just throw those in the bottom of a Dutch oven or a grill pan, something you can cover, and then throw your smoked chuck roast on top. I'm adding two tablespoons of ranch seasoning on top. That's just like the ranch packet. And then we'll add a little bit of beef tallow or butter on top. This is optional. You're going to have a lot of fat in the chuck roast, but this will help that seasoning kind of spread out evenly. And then about a fourth cup of pickled jalapeno peppers. I use dice, but slice works just fine. Then you'll throw this back on the Traeger covered at 275. Crank that temperature up a little bit on the grill for about five hours. It should shred easily. You should stick a fork in it and twist and it should fall apart. If it doesn't, it needs to go a little bit longer. It's gonna be pretty tough to overcook this unless you leave it in there all day. And then you'll shred this and it's time to make tacos. I'll show you how to make these with some corn and flour tortillas with Oaxaca cheese melted on top. I put them on a sheet pan just for easy transport and then throw it on the grill for five to ten minutes until the cheese melts. You don't want to make tostadas here, so watch out for too much browning. Your tortilla should still fold to make tacos. Again, don't make crispy tostadas here. And then just fill these with your beef. I garnished with a little bit of diced white onion and cilantro. If you want to make tacos without the cheese on the bottom, like melted on like that, you could also garnish with some pickled onion and cotilla cheese like you see here. You should have enough beef for about 12 large tacos, but if you want to just make a few tacos and save some for leftovers, I like to make quesadillas like you see here, and I'll throw some on some tortilla chips topped with cheese, throw it in the air fryer for about five minutes, and you got a great leftover treat. And that should cover it. I'll throw a link to the full recipe if you need to print this off in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more recipe videos like this.